My head might still be spinning after almost an hour aboard Blue Angel number seven. All thanks to U.S. Navy Lieutenant Julius Braddon. Call sign Whiskers. I took you through just about everything you can do in a jet. Loops and rolls, but what you definitely can't see or feel on the ground, the mind-numbing G-forces we feel in the cockpit as the fighter jet accelerates in new directions. Think of G's as supercharged gravity, making your body feel really heavy and making it tough for your heart to pump blood to the brain. Seven's crew chief, AT2 Jordan Walls, teaches me special breathing techniques. We practice a lot and prepare for what the Blue Angels call the bonus ride in case we need to eject. But don't worry, Mom, we did not. Here we go. Strapped in from ankle to shoulder. This is roomier than coach. Ready for takeoff. I'm a little kid again. For about 20 seconds, we're at zero G, the weightlessness of space. That is so cool. Nine two, nine three, nine four. We hit 0.95 Mach, approaching the speed of sound, and the next part's a blur. Ready, Barely slowing down, we pull straight up on a max performance climb, the sneak to vertical rolls. At max, we feel seven and a half times the force of gravity. 7.5 G's, Shirley, you can't be serious. Uh, I am serious, and don't, don't call me Shirley. Shirley. Yeah, yeah, there it is! This is what I remember, almost passing out, as Whiskers incredibly keeps flying the jet under those same pressures. This year, the Blue Angels celebrating their 75th anniversary of stunning audiences. This might look familiar, the Blue Angels flying upside down, but what will be this year in Chicago is seeing the Blue Angels flying aboard this aircraft, the FA-18 Super Hornet. Some cloud surfing and extra G's later, I'm back on land, exhausted but so grateful for a flight I'll never forget. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.